How's it going guys? My name's Fred and welcome back to Scrap Mechanics and today we are going to build a plane, we are going to build a train, and we are going to build a trailer. So, all of these are suggestions from you guys that you wanted to see. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of building since last time, I've got some of this stuff prepared, some of it we're going to build in this episode today. So yeah, let's see what we can get going. The first thing we're going to do is a train, because I think that'll be easiest. Uh, I've actually already made a train, well sort of like a prototype train. It's out... It's over towards the edge of the map, so let's just get in my car thing here. Let's drive out and I'll show you. Come on, Mr. Truck. You work much better when you're the right way up. You can see that since last time, I have actually, like, deleted some stuff. I had my uh, monorail testing thing. I've deleted that because that has, like, turned into uh, the train thing. And I've deleted some of the vehicles I made last time, some of the more crappy ones. But anyway, over in this corner of the map is my train testing area. Okay, let's just park this thing here. Nice and out of the way. Jesus, the game is running slowly. Okay, so here we have my train. It's not, uh, it doesn't look too much like a train. Basically, what we've got is, it's a plank, and it's got these four wheels, which are actually connected to the engine, so that when we press forward, these ones turn. It's then got these wheels underneath, which basically just hold it in the right place on these rails. So I've got these rails here, and then you can see, going this way, I've made some very long rails, which you can't even see the end of. It took a while to build those because you can only make 16 blocks at a time. But yeah, it goes like a third of the way down the side of the map. It's quite a long way. So one problem with making trains in this game is obviously because, because you can only build cubes. You can't build curves and trains like curves. Um, so to actually get it to go around a corner, for instance, when you get into the corner of the map like this, you need to build this kind of thing. It's a train turntable. I'll show you how it works. So if we come up here into the train, uh, I'm pretty sure this is turned on. If we get in this thing and just drive it back. Oh, it's actually, it's not set correctly yet. Doesn't matter. You guys can see how it works. So basically, press this button here. These bits of rails just lift up a little bit. And you can see there are these guard rails here. These go down. So you can actually drive through. This thing spins. All good. And then once it gets to the other side, this goes down again. And these guard rails here come up. So it means if the train's on that piece of rail, it can't, like, drive off the end. So... Turntable set correctly means we can now get into this thing just reverse it nicely onto this Let's stick it right in the middle just for just for the sake of balance You can see it's kind of a it's kind of wobbly because you can only have things uh, attached in one point because of the way bearings work uh, So yeah, let's put that in the middle then when we do this it should spin around fine I've tested it quite a few times it doesn't it doesn't like the lifting up and down bit But the spinning bit works absolutely fine. So yeah, it lifts it up spins it around that's all good. Oh, it is so cool. You see, I had to make, I had to make these weird like dips in it here, just so these wheels could actually go through. But anyway, it lowers it back down, and now this turntable is connected to these rails here. So now we can drive off this way. Oh, please be connected properly. It's all good, and now we can drive the whole way down. Well, as far as the rails go. What the hell? What are you doing, train? The train seems to be having some issues. Yeah. Okay. So fine. So, um, at the moment, in just the sandbox mode, it's not the quickest way of getting around, and it's not the easiest, it's not, like, the most efficient either, because you have to build the rails. It takes a long time to build the rails, but if this game ever does get some kind of, like, survival mode, if, say, you had, like, a mine, and you had to transport a whole load of things around the place, you could obviously attach, like, another, another car behind this one, and you could have a driver, a driver car at the front and pull, like, a whole load of stuff the whole way across the world. This isn't the fastest it can go, uh, but I've tried doing it at full power, and it just it just came flying off the rails. It, it starts, sometimes, it starts to, like, bounce side to side, because it's not, these wheels aren't, like, the exact same width as the rails, if you know what I mean, so they, they can move side to side a little bit. So, yeah, this is the end of the rail. This is as far as I built it, just because it took, it took so damn long. So, I think that's kind of cool. We could... We could decorate this thing to make it look more like a train, but then it'll be super heavy. I don't think it'll drive so well. So, I think that's a train pretty much done. So yeah, train, pretty cool. I think that'll work well. So the next thing we're going to do today is we're going to build a trailer for a car. So you guys were asking, because last time uh, we built like a truck that can carry a car around. You guys were asking if it's possible to make a trailer which is detachable. So you can, deta you can attach it to any of your different vehicles, but then like take it off again if you don't want to drive around with it the whole time. So basically what I'm planning is I'm going to make something for the Vader truck, the very first car we built. If we park this here, basically what we need is we need a little thing on the back which the trailer can attach to. So we basically need some kind of trailer hook. Something like this. But actually, I'm going to make it into a loop 
just so that just so that it like can't bounce off when we're driving. Okay, so we've got a very weird looking trailer loop. Basically, what I'm planning is to have a trailer, but then on the front, it's going to have like a claw thing, which we can press a button and it goes like this. So it attaches onto the car and then you can drive around with it. But when you want to detach it, you press the button again and the claw will open up and then it won't be attached anymore. Okay, so we got our trailer thing with a hook on the end. Obviously, the trailer uh, is not it's not very big at the moment, but we can obviously make it bigger once we know that it works. So. I've got this hook thing attached to this controller. When we press this button, you can see it's currently closed. When I press this button, it just opens up just like this. So basically, once it's open, what we can do is we can reverse this truck a little bit so that it's in the right place. Sort of like this. Oh, I'm not entirely sure where I want it. Probably, probably about there. There, that's good. Okay, so now when I press this button, the core thing should close around that hook. Oh, I really hope, I really hope this doesn't mess the game up. So, those should be held together. So now when I drive this forward, it should pull the trailer. Oh yes! Okay, I get the feeling the game is gonna crash at any moment because it really hates when you do stuff like this, but there we go. We've got a trailer, a detachable trailer, attached to the back of the Vader truck. Oh, doing a wheelie, Jesus! Okay, that's cool. What I might do is I might make the trailer bigger so we can try and drive a car onto it. And actually, I might make one extra thing this episode. You guys wanted to see a folding car. Okay, so I've made this little folding car. This is it in the folded up state. If I come around here and press this button, you can see how big it gets. It's not the biggest car I've ever made, but it's still it's still a decent size once it's unfolded. Uh, so let's fold it up. You can still drive it once it's folded. I've also made some changes to the trailer. I've made this barrier so the car won't fall off. And I put this ramp on, which also like holds the thing in when you shut it. Just notice, I missed a, uh, I missed a piece of this corner. That is not good. Go on there. There we go. Okay, so when we press this button right here, then the ramp goes down and the thing closes as well. Wait, that's not correct. I don't want the, no, no, I don't want that. Okay, so when the ramp is up, the thing is closed because obviously once we're driving, once this is connected to the truck and we're driving around, we do not want the back to be open because the car would fall out. So. We press the button, the ramp goes down, and this thing opens, so we can now, hopefully, get the folding car into there. Uh, so we're driving it like this, because you can't steer it properly, because it's all folded up and stuff. It's like driving a, it's like driving a bumper car, like a dodgem thing, like at a fairground, it's so tiny, anyway. Let's see, it should fit, I made it so it should fit. Let's see if we can get this in here, oh, it's gonna be a tight fit, it's gonna be a squeeze! Oh crap, oh! Oh, no, stop moving. Don't drive it forwards. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, that goes in there. It's literally the exact same size. It's a tight fit. I know. Let's get out of that. Let's uh, close the back before that thing rolls out. God damn, the frame rate. Okay, close that up. And actually, it's in the right place. But that should close onto there. Oh, no. Oh, it missed. It's fine. We just need to back this thing up a little bit. Okay, let's get this in the right place. So now we should be able to attach the trailer to the truck and drive our little folding car around the place. But it also means if we don't want to, we can detach the trailer and it doesn't have to be connected to the Vader truck. Okay, so trailers done, trains done. There's only one more thing to build today and that's planes. Okay, time to build a plane. I've moved away uh, from my base a little bit just so hopefully the game will run a bit faster. I think this is a nice flat, open, grassy area. This should be good. So let's put down one of these things. Let's start building a plane. Basically, this game, doesn't have wings, so you can't make a plane which flies like a plane actually does because you can't have lift and stuff. The only way to get something to be in the air is to put loads of rockets on the bottom and just blast it upwards. So basically what we need to make is a big, just a big like wooden platform. We want it to be made out of wood because that's the lightest material. Well wooden, the like this, this yellow and black stuff is really light as well. So we'll make it out of wood. We'll put some, some rockets on the bottom to push it upwards and then we'll just put some rockets on the back to push it forwards. Okay, so this is just a very, very basic concept, which hopefully, hopefully will fly. So we need to get a way 
to be able to drive the jet engines from the seat. So you guys have told me, if I connect a seat to a controller, and then a controller to the, um, the rockets, I can fire the rockets using the number keys. So I'm going to see if that's actually true. Why no? That is, in fact, not true. Oh, I think I figured out how to do it. Okay, so you don't connect the seat to a controller. You connect the seat to a switch. And then hopefully, please, dear God, let this work. No, get, get rid of that one. Get, oh, the game is running so terribly. It's so fucking... Like, I'm getting this thing where I can't even place blocks. Look. It's not giving me the choice. To oh, there we go. There we go. Let's detach the whole thing. Let's get in the seat. And now, one. Ooh, okay. It's just a toggle. I thought you'd hold it down. It just toggles it. Interesting. Well, it's good at it's good at barrel rolls. I think we need to move the thrusters at the front back because it's back flipping. So if we, yeah, I think we need to move the front ones backwards. Okay, let's try this. Turn the thrusters on. Oh, it's going... It goes pretty much straight upwards, and now the ones at the back are just connected to the driver's seat. So when I press W, those go. Okay, so this is basically how you make some kind of air vehicle. Now we just need to balance it. Okay, that seems to be going pretty much straight upwards when we press 1. So now when we press W, ooh, ooh, that's not good. What the hell? Why is it going sideways? Oh god, what happens when you hit the edge of the... Okay, there's a wall. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, let's try this. Oh, that's looking pretty... Wait, why is it flipping? I think it's just basically if it doesn't start on flat ground, then you have a really bad time. So, that's going all right. I think I think we got it pretty well balanced. Now, uh, we need a way we can actually steer it. So, I read online that you can steer you can steer an air vehicle with wheels. Basically, just by having spinning wheels, I guess, like a gyroscope effect, uh, you can use that to, to steer a thing. So I don't know, maybe if you just put a wheel on all four corners and then see see how well that works. So I'm just going to connect the wheel straight to the steering wheel, which should mean they spin when I press uh, A and D, like left and right. If we have them alternating, as in, uh, let's flip. Actually, they are alternating. Look, this one's said to spin backwards and this one spins forwards. So now when I press A and D, the wheels should all spin in opposite directions. Hey, what the hell? Oh, they don't spin that much. Oh, yeah, because I'm just... Oh, okay, fine. Okay, let's stick an engine on this thing. Let's actually stick two engines on just to balance it, but we're only going to use one of them. So if we connect this to there and then this to the wheel... So now what should happen is when I press W, the wheels all spin in alternate directions. You see, those two are spinning the opposite to each other. And the same on this side. They're spinning the opposite ways. I'd, hopefully, that means we can steer it. Okay, let's try this thing up in the air. Oh, it definitely seems more stable. Okay, let's try going forwards. Uh, steer! Somehow! Do something! Well, I mean, actually, we haven't crashed yet. We are still upright. If I wanted to go this direction, it's worked perfectly. Oh, uh, go back upwards. You're going to hit the ground. The ground is not where planes go. Ah! Okay, well, definitely adding wheels definitely made it more stable. It definitely didn't flip as quickly. But I get the feeling... In order to make a plane that works really well, I may have to do a bit more work. Okay, so yeah, that design is going to take a little bit of tweaking to get it to actually fly properly. It's, it's tricky, but I just came up, I just had a new idea, which is basically this little thing here. It doesn't look like much, but basically what we got, we got a driver's seat, and that's connected directly to these things. But then these are also pivoted on bearings here. So it means when we're in the thing, when I press A and D, it just does this. And then if I press A, it does this. So it means we can fly upwards, like such. And then we just press D and point them forwards. And then we can fly forwards. Obviously, if we started on a flat bit, we wouldn't have done a twist. But yeah, it actually works. It actually works quite well. So I think, to be honest, this might be a better way to make a flying machine. This is actually a lot easier to fly. You don't have to, like, mess around with the number keys. It's just, it's just A and D and W. This is actually working pretty well. Apart from when it goes upside down, then you can't do anything. Oh, god damn. Yeah, I think actually, this has worked pretty well. So, planes, planes are tricky in this game, particularly, uh, particularly the way you have to control them. Jesus! So I think this is about the best we're gonna do. But anyway, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully this has been inspirational to help you guys create some of your own stuff. We made a train. That's pretty simple. It just takes a long time to build the rails. Uh, we made a trailer. I thought that worked really nicely, actually. And we've made 
I, I'm not going to call it a plane. It's a it's a flying device. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys have uh, come up with some some of your own ideas from watching this stuff. Oh my god. And yeah, this has been Scrap Mechanic. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have played a card. Don't it. And I will see you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.